Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today, we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. We're doing a little bit of late night edition, you guys. Uh, I had been busy uh, traveling, and now that I'm back, uh, a few of my relatives have been sick and in the hospital, so... I was waiting till they got a hospital room before coming home. So, so nonetheless, that's why we're getting some late night additions, right? But I, it's not that I haven't been, you know, in the mix or anything. I just haven't had time with with everything going on. But, um, but nonetheless, in this particular video, I wanted to talk about this weird uh, thing that always happens, you guys, whenever Mel is messy on these episodes, and uh, in particular in this video, we're going to discuss how Carlos King and Dr. Heavenly, you know, basically frame how, you know, Tisha and Marceau made the comment, oh, maybe Martel, well, really it was Tisha that made the comment, oh, maybe it wasn't, Martel wasn't lying about Mel talking to other guys, right? So, nonetheless, Mel gets on TikTok Live and is like, listen, any men that were, you know, around my family at the time when I was with Martel were people that worked for us. There was nothing that was inappropriate. Everything was professional. And my thing is this, you boys. My thing is this, because people seem to think that there's like, you know, some secret motive or secret motivation that, uh, you know, Mel has for whatever side she is or isn't taking in the cast and everything's about revenge and, and all these things. And, and, and here's the thing, Mel is in a lose-lose situation, you guys. She, she truly is, because here's the thing, even regarding, you know, the scene with Sunny, right? If she's team sunny and in the situation oh she's using her like she's used other people in the past to come for tisha right or she's you know team sunny because she doesn't like destiny her and destiny fell out so therefore you know now sunny's going to be her mouthpiece and all these things right but then if you know mel even if the current state of her and destiny still falling out if mel was team destiny then all of a sudden it's gonna be like oh well you know uh mel's just doing this so that she could try to get you know try to find out what the tea is on martel or what martel and his side chick are doing so so it was never going to be uh, any situation that mel does at this point because here's the thing there the, the haters are out you guys the haters are out in full force ready to you know pick apart any and everything because once again, they, they want to see Mel crumble, you guys. They want to see Mel fail. Like, all these seasons, you guys said, oh, Mel and Tell, they need a storyline. They need something else to do. Whenever they get involved in other people's storylines, it's like, oh, they're being messy. They're being instigated. Well, it's like the whole cast is messy. Are they not? Didn't you say you wanted entertainment? Didn't you say uh, that you were sick of the Mel and Tell show? And, and, and so now Mel's giving you a show, she's giving you content, she's giving you material, and now it's an issue. Uh, when, when did we ever see on this show everybody getting along? 24 and 7, you guys, there was always drama from season 1, episode 1. Everybody was always throwing shade to each other. So I do not understand why everybody is acting brand new right now. Why is everybody acting like it's a new concept of anybody in the show throwing shade? The problem is is not everybody wants to hold themselves accountable with the shade. And that's where I have the issue. If you're going to be messy, just say that and own it, right? But don't be messy and then cry on social media about, oh, I'm being bullied, I'm being attacked, and blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. People have an opinion. And if they don't like how you were on a scene or on an episode or on social media, they have a right to call it out. But there's a difference between having an opinion and, you know, completely just, you know, saying things that are below the belt and just name calling and all these things that have nothing to do with the issue at hand. But like I said, people are too sensitive. These people who want to be reality TV famous and, and want to, you know, have some sort of level of fame and recognition and all these things, you can't handle the pressure. 
And, and so now people are now trying to twist this, you know, Mel's commentary on the Trisha and Ken situation. Uh, even though it's clear as day, she probably doesn't know at this point in time the extent of the Trisha and Martell connection because I think this has only been a couple of episodes. She's actually filmed scenes with Trisha. So nonetheless, she doesn't have the full backstory on that whole situation. She's only coming in as far as what she's hearing, you know, second and third hand um, in regards to this Trisha and uh, Ken timeline and all the things. But people are now trying to twist this around and, you know, make it seem as though there's some other type of big secret Mel, Mel is hiding, you guys. There, there's some big conspiracy, you guys. And, and it's to the point that, that people now have gone back to square one and have gone back to, oh, since we have not seen a man of, of Mel's on the show, whether she has one or not, that that means her and Martell are secretly still together, you guys. That that means Mel and Tell, they are still romantically involved. And, and, and the only reason that she divorced him was because of her fans and because she was on reality TV. But however, if it didn't exist for reality TV, you know, uh, they would still be together. And, and I'm just trying to make it make sense. Are, are you guys serious right now? Th th there's literally a mistress of 10 plus years who's completely off the rails and has completely insulted and disrespected Mel and Mel's kids with Martel. And, you know, and, 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 and <laughs> you think Mel's going back to that? But my question is this. I, I just want to know, why does the pendulum keep changing? Why do we keep swinging back and forth when it comes to Mel, right? On, on one end, you guys say that Mel is obsessed with Martel. Mel is secretly with Martel. Mel wants Martel back and all of these things. Uh, and, and how can it be both if Mel supposedly also has a man and also uh, allegedly is with somebody else, right? But like, how can it be both, right? Uh, how can she have a man and going all these dates, but at the same token, it is tracking Martel and his mistresses, you boys, and going to the mistress's house, allegedly, to, to, to you know, uh, have the, you know, pow in your face session. <laughs> like, like, can we keep it a book that it doesn't matter what Mel says or does, you're not going to like her? I think if people just said that instead of being fake, we, we, we'd be, you know, on a better playing field, right? Everything would be leveled out, right? But the problem is so many people pretend that they like Mel. So many people pretend that they resonate with Mel. So many people pretended to feel sorry for Mel. And then there is this shade fest that keeps happening. And notice that Tisha never has the same energy to tell Mel any of this to her face until she feels like she has backup with her. But any other time, she is only throwing shade when it seems that Mel is not in her presence, you guys. And it, you, like that has been with, you know, scenes with Kimmy, scenes with Destiny and so forth. She has no problem throwing shade at Mel then and throwing shade at the Melometers and Mel supporters then. And then she waits until the confessional with Marceau to then throw her dig in at, you know, Mel. But they very much could have made the dick to Mel's face. Like, keep the same energy. Don't wait until you get to a confessional or wait until you get to the reunion to you, to now get buck with people. Because it's giving, you know, you're, you're just trying to turn up for the cameras. It, it's giving that you really don't have the smoke that you think you have. Because if you really were bothered on Mel's opinion on, on what she supported in this Trisha and Ken story, you would have said it to her face right then and there. But, but it's just so funny to me, just, just these reactions that people have, because it's like, none of you, you, you aren't standing on business. <laughs> you're not. You cannot decide which way you're going to hate Mel today or, or tomorrow, right? But, but my thing is, can we just pick a narrative and stick to it? 
if you're going to go with the narrative that, that Mel and Tal have been secretly together this entire time, which makes zero sense to me, um, considering all of the legal issues that they're having at the moment, uh, and the court battles and, and everything else, and involving the revenge pee, involving the custody battle of the kids, and, and all of the accounts that the kids have had in, in regards to how Martell treats them, in regards to how the mistress of 10 years treats them, and you guys still think after all of that, Mel and Tell are, you know, secretly together, but it can't be public uh, that, you know, she she had to divorce him. Otherwise, her fan base was not going to support her. Like, like you guys, <laughs> you guys, are, are we are we talking about the same Mel and Tell right now? This is not the same Mel and Tell from season one, you guys. This, this is not the same Team Holt. Right? That, that you guys are still, uh, along with Carlos King, living in some fantasy about, you guys. But we need to wake up to 2024. More than half of the year is over, and some of you are still living in the past. Some of you have, you know, feeded the delusions because Mel didn't, you know, again, need Martell didn't need to uh, depend on Martell after this divorce and, and all of these things and bossed up on our own. It, it's a problem and it's been a problem. And, and I just want to know what is the narrative, you guys? Are, are you guys going to stick with this narrative that Mel and Tell have been together this entire time? <laughs> Even though there's literally restraining orders? Even though literally, legally, Martell cannot even contact Mel at the moment and is not supposed to be discussing her. Which is why allegedly he has other people doing it on his behalf. Or or is it that, you know, Mel secretly has a man, Mel secretly has somebody, and uh, refuses to go public with him, which is her right, which is fine. She's, she's told more than enough of her life story on the show. But basically, whatever team she's on, whatever alliance she is in, whatever side she is taking, whatever stance she has in regards to the Sunny Moses and Destiny saga, in regards to the Ken, Trisha, and Marquez saga, that, that it's somehow, you know, it's all about Martell still, that she is still hung up on Martell, that she is still upset that things didn't go the way she went to with Martell. No, 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 no. No, no, no. If she allegedly happens a dude, why would she still be hung up on Martell, you guys? See, see how it can't be both? It can't be both. Choose a lane. But please stick to the lane, right? Don't flip-flop, you know, to, to support your narrative. It, it, it's either one way or it's the other. Either or either Mel and Tell, according to you, are, are secretly together, which to me is just so bogus. But, but you know, there, there's people who've convinced themselves, right? There's people who've convinced themselves uh, of this tomfoolery. And, uh, you know, to justify why Mel is, you know, now all of a sudden Mel's involving herself in these, you know, marriages. But my thing is this. Well, well technically, um we should say a uh, situationship entanglement uh, as it pertains to Trisha and Ken. But nonetheless, you guys, you, you said that you were sick of Mel and Tell. So, so now Mel is in, you know, is incorporated into these other storylines and now it's a problem. Now it's all back to, oh, I, I'm sick of Mel. Oh, she, 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 she's being too messy. She's doing too much. She still loves Martell. They're secretly still together. And, and this is all a projection. <laughs> what? What is happening? What is happening, you boys? Like, 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 I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone. But here is the thing. You guys didn't like Mel to begin with. That, that's the whole thing. You didn't like Mel to begin with, and some of you who even pretended to like Mel were waiting for an opportunity to go in. We're waiting for an opportunity to push this conspiracy theory. And now that the door has opened, you, you walked right through it and, and you're spreading the conjecture, you guys. But can you make it make sense? Because the math still doesn't math to me. It truly doesn't. But you guys get you get so caught up and emotional and and, and and you know and all these things. And it's like if you just look at it from the perspective of right is right and wrong is wrong, 
you you'd be in a much better place but but you guys take it to a whole nother level where it's an obsession and you guys then can no longer see the reality because you're too close to the situation on who you prefer compared to others and therefore it clouds your judgment if you're so wrapped up in your hate for somebody why would you ever look at it from an objective perspective to give a fair opinion on it but if you took a step back and saw the situation from each person's lens you would see why certain people feel the way that they feel Mel's whole point in that scene to me with Ken and Trisha was to prove and vindicate herself really that you can have a professional relationship with somebody a professional working relationship of somebody with of the opposite sex and it doesn't have to be anything romantic or intimate or inappropriate she was throwing the dick at marceau because according to her ex-husband martel uh him and marceau and allegedly maurice i uh, you know it's a free-for-all in these alleged apartments and airbnbs and according to the tenure mistress linebackers in atlanta that they can't resist they can't say no right but i think ultimately after all of the shenanigans of ken trisha and marquez when it's all said and done i i feel like we're we're being punked <laughs> like i do like i feel like it's a it's one big episode of punked where everybody's just trying to see who can out clout chase the other person you guys but ultimately like i say from you know in every video it's the kids that are suffering in all of this the kids are suffering in all of this with these adults and these social media antics it's not necessary pick up the phone and call the person if you have a problem with what they said in the interview pick up the phone and call them but taking it to, you know, these new heights and, and social media and trying to, you know, garner, you know, sides and fan support and blogger support and all these things, it's never going to end well. It never is going to end well because the people that you think are loyal to you are loyal to nobody. So they will move on to the next thing, to the next big topic, to the next big story, and you'll be lagging, you know, hanging out in the dust. But nonetheless, uh, there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post no content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.